Okay, we have here uh, pretty much basically first gen Innova that's going to do ECU remap and first thing we're going to do is put it on the dyno to see how much power it makes. But before that, first of all, one of the few things I noticed already from the start is this one. It's a broken <laughs> map sensor filter. This thing is actually uh, uh, replaceable. You need to change this every so often, normally about 30,000 kilometers, change this. So we already changed it and here it is, changed to a new one. One of the symptoms, if this is broken or clogged, uh, number one, the map sensor, which is this one, is going to read the wrong amount of boost for the car. Normal full boost on these things is around 12 PSI. So if this is clogged, this sensor will read definitely not 12, most likely 8 or 7. So if it's reading only 8 or 7 PSI, it will inject fuel which is good for 8 to 7 PSI. Thus, no power. Okay, this is our program. We use PCM Flash to read the ECU data. Well, actually not even ECU data. We just need the calibration file and calibration ID here. For Toyota, there is no file to be read from the ECU. It's actually a file that we have to buy. Uh, one of the reasons why is because for Toyota, you're not able to read ECU data. You can only write. It's a one-way street. And for those of you who are wondering, especially for the guys with the new Fortuners, Innovas, Hiluxes, and IACES, if your ECU can be reflashed, I will show you how to determine if you can do it or not. Every Fortuner, Innova, and Hilux ECU is located behind here in the, in the glove compartment. So what you do is, you take the glove compartment out, you can take a picture of the ECU sticker in front. Message that to me in Facebook, then I can tell you that, oh yes, ito pwede remap or no, sorry, cannot remap. Uh, only un only Unichip will work for your car. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's a bin file. Bin meaning binary. Okay. You can actually open this in Microsoft Word and it'll come out as garbage. <laughs> Hexadismal garbage. Uh, there's two kinds of software that we that Remax generally use. One is a reader writer mm -hmm. and the other one's an editor. This is the reader writer. So ang trabaho niya is just to read and to write, yeah. yeah. The difference between sa Toyota slang, you're not able to read. You can only write. Oh, okay. Uh, so what we're able to read is just read this thing, itong importante, this one, calibration file. Yeah. Once we have that, there's a website that we go to, uh, yun, may bayad. <laughs> so we search it here, and then we download this original okay. file. Yeah. So that's the one that we edit. It's actually a pretty small file. Yeah, from your video, it's yeah. around 1 to 2. MB? 368K lang. <laughs> it's an old Innova. The, the newer ones are 1 MB, 1.5 oh, okay. MB. This one's only 368K. <laughs> the size of a family computer game. <laughs> then this is the editing software. So once we open it, these are all the things that we can uh, change and manipulate. It's basically it looks like a bunch of Excel files. So each one of this one may adjust and after that we save it into another new file. It's still 368kb okay. large and then that file is the one that we write into the ECU. Ah, okay. Then so we dyno again. Reflash. Yeah, mm -hmm. reflash is because for all intents and purposes, your ECU is treated like a flash drive. Mm -hmm. so it's a yeah, the computer treats it as another flash drive that you write files into. And then it's a remap because those things are maps. Yeah. Uh, uh, yep, you just change it. <laughs> So the trick there and what you're actually paying for is this one. Yeah. What to adjust and how much to adjust. <laughs> <laughs> Our baseline dyno is done and yes, she is a healthy 2008 Innova at 73 horsepower. <laughs> and she's making the correct amount of power. <laughs> Uh, this is what we mean by air fuel ratio. So this is basically your power. This is the torque. So this, these are all correct figures. Then air fuel ratio is this one. Um, you remember anything about high school chemistry? No. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> There's a term called stoichiometric, which is basically this line. What this line means is it's 14 parts air to one part fuel. Okay. Right now, 
uh, it's beyond the scale. Hindi na nababasa. It's 20 parts air to 1 part fuel. Then gradually it dips down to about 20. It's 20.8 here, then it's 20.5. In order to make power, you have to inject more fuel. So okay. we expect this line to go down to about here. Uh, this part here will give you about 30, 40 horses more okay. with this fuel. Uh, this line here is our reference na pag lumampas dito or lumapit dito, pausok na lang pausok pag lumalapit ah, dito. Okay. Okay. So, obviously, if you don't want that, we don't make it go down there. <laughs> yeah. not, beyond, not beyond the red line. No, no, not beyond the red line. No. Then, so, the graph that we expect to see is pretty much this one, amplified lang siya. So, tataas lahat siya. So, from there to about, yay, about there. Then torque also, uh, it ramps up, although not like that, it's more of a graph like this. Oh, okay. uh, starts up high, then goes down. <laughs> uh, pretty much any diesel is like this one. Uh, maximum torque at the lowest possible RPM. Mm -hmm. gotcha. Yeah. Otherwise, you're going to be taking more fuel. No, that's just the way that the engine's designed. <laughs> uh, okay. Pag diesel. But gasoline engine is slightly different. It starts out low, then goes high, then goes down. Uh, peak torque for gasoline engine is around 4,045, pretty much any engine. Uh, diesel, kasi the way it's designed, obviously, panghatak. Yeah. So you want the grunt at low RPM. Mm -hmm. You don't want to keep revving it and to get the torque that you want. Yeah. And among other things that we also tune and get rid of, uh, yun, delay sa pedal. No, yeah. wala na rin yun. Yeah. Because there's a map there called uh, torque request. Eh. So that's the one that controls the pedal. So that basically says how much torque I want at what RPM. So this one we map it. You take a look to see if you're okay with this smoke level. This one only happens at full throttle. Anything okay. not full throttle, it's not gonna smoke. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. These are all full throttle. Mm. If part throttle, let's say 50%, 70%, it's not going to smoke. Okay, uh, so let's go 50%. Yeah, uh, it's not going to smoke. Okay, let's go. 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 Let's Okay lang ako sa mga full throttle. Kasi hindi lang naman ako mag full throttle. Kailangan lang talaga na Ayan. So here at the start, kasi if you notice, at the start here at 1.8, we're still, yung air fuel nandito tayo. So ito, walang usok to. Up to about mga 2.5 RPM. Walang mm -hmm. usok. Then, but and this is also full throttle. So if you're full throttle, then beyond 2.5, dun. Medyo dun na siya usok. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Then, okay. Um, <laughs> then you then you test drive. <laughs> okay. This is pretty much where we're at. Uh, stock horsepower, we're making 73 horses, and then after tuning, we're at 107. So 30, seven, 30 something horses for this for this purpose is 40 horses, and then we do actually have a 40 horse gain here. From uh, no, 60 to about almost 100, so here at 2001, 2001 RPM, so that's pretty much 40 horse right there. And this is not very smoky, meaning it only will smoke at full throttle and beyond 27 RPM. Anything below than that, 50% throttle, 60% throttle, there will not be any smoke on this tube. So don't worry about it. <laughs> So we'll take it out of the dyno and do the test drive. Uh, another nice, pretty nice bonus after you get remapped. Drive normally like you do, we should see about 8 to 10 percent mass mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the logic of why that is because you don't have to step on the pedal as much no more to get the power you want. So one thing 
kapik lang malak sa sumibat so bibitaw ka na kaagad by nature transmission it's more of a torque thing so if you reach the torque set by the transmission earlier it shifts earlier too uh, so mas mabilis kumambio lumalabas yun pretty clear yun ko naan mo yun <laughs> yan ko naan mo yan change na normally is around mga 2.5 eh. Oh, so from 2.5 before you have about 190 newton meters. Now you have about 280. So 100 mm. and more. <laughs> so yun yung itong mo of this part here. Yung yeah, bigla. Kasi malaki pa rin. Manami pang bibigay. Lex. Oh. <laughs> Unless my checkpoint ka. <laughs> Meron pa ba ngayon? Huh? Wala naman I do have people who showed up that from Isabela and Baguio. Baguio. Going to Baguio mas mahirap. Mas mahirap because may yung checkpoints na doon. Uh, mas may bet. Ah. Pero for other ano wala na. Wala na. Okay, uh, that's good then. All right. Yeah, just park it here. How comes the hard part? Payment. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest one. <laughs> 